Ten of your sides, Aaron Kelly joins us now with the latest from Eden Way North near Battlefield Boulevard. Aaron. Well, you know, we've seen some slick spots here off of Battlefield Boulevard. We've seen some trucks trying to go around and make a U-turn, and some of them have slid into the snowbank. Now, these are the numbers that you need to know coming in from the city of Chesapeake. They say they've had 100 reports of disabled vehicles today. They have had nine accidents, including two with minor injuries. 37 trucks from VDOT and the city are out working on these roads. We also talked to some people earlier today who are doing some digging of their own. They've been doing the big dig in Chesapeake. And it's far from over. Maybe about seven, eight o'clock in the morning. By late Wednesday night, some snowed in businesses were getting anxious. They've been calling me up to the last hour trying to see how soon we can get out there and take care of their parking lot. We tell them there's a list, but we'll get to them as soon as possible. These guys from Affordable Cuts were loaded up with pallets of rock salt. It might as well be gold. We got the last eight pallets in the state. Um, everybody from South Carolina to DC was calling Franklin. Virginia looking for rock salt. Though the work is cold and dirty, there's a certain satisfaction to it. It's a lot of risk in it, but it pays good and it, it's a good feeling when you go home and go to bed, <laughs> knowing that people are going to be safe in that parking lot. The city of Chesapeake told us one of the trucks that was out there today, one of the salt sand trucks, slid into a ditch, but luckily the driver is okay. They also gave us some numbers on what they've been putting out here. 28,000 gallons of that salt water mixture that they put down before the storm came, and then 1,100 tons of salt and sand mixture, and they have more being shipped in tomorrow. We'll send it back to you from Chesapeake. All right, when you consider now we're going to Virginia Beach, the state's largest city, city crews have a lot of hard work ahead of them. Oh, yeah, they've been out there, but the work continues. Senator your side's Jason Marks joins us now live from the corner of Virginia Beach Boulevard and Princess Anne Road. Jason, you actually rode along with some crews. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the main concern for crews tonight is that ice that's now starting to form. You know, uh, they cleared off, if you take a look at the road, they cleared off all the snow. And what's left is just that thin layer, and they're really worried of that, about that becoming ice. Now, as you mentioned, we did take a ride with Public Works crews a short time ago. We got to ride with, with truck driver George Smith. Now, Smith has been with Public Works for three years. This is his second snowstorm. The first came, of course, last week. Smith tonight and the rest of the drivers continue to hit the streets with sand and salt. Local crews continue to get help from BDOT crews who should be here through out at least through tomorrow afternoon. Smith is coming in for his 12 hour shift. That's what they're working here in Virginia Beach, 12 hour shifts. We did ask him what the last 24 hours has been like. Well, this time through we uh, stuck mainly just to plowing because it was coming down so much that uh, if we spread the sand on the road, we just would have plowed it right off. So we just, for the most part, last night spent most of the time plowing. And obviously, the, the snow gone, your focus shifts to to ice, right? Yeah, yeah, we'll be uh, spreading a lot of sand and salt wherever it's needed. Yeah, and they're going to need it. Public Works officials uh, estimate by the time the storm is all said and done, they would have spread about 2,000 tons of salt and sand, but obviously that's the main concern tonight, that everything that they did today to get all of that snow off the road, whatever's left is now going to freeze, and they say no matter what they put down, it doesn't matter until that temperature starts to rise. So hopefully tomorrow we can get a little bit of a rise in the temperature. All right, Jason Marks, live for us there in Virginia Beach. Well, there is so much snow in downtown Norfolk. The trucks can't plow it. They have to move it. Ten of your side's Andy Fox shows us where. I'm Andy Fox at Harbor Park, and Norfolk has a very unique problem in removing snow from downtown Norfolk. The streets aren't wide enough, so they've been going out, moving the snow off the street, and then they've been putting it in these dump trucks. Tons and tons of snow, and it's been going on all day, and it'll continue to tomorrow. And they load up all the snow, bring it here to Harbor Park, and then the dump truck does the rest. What has it been like all day? Well, it's been terrible. We've been out here since 5 o'clock this morning, and uh, when you get the snow off, it's just a sheet of ice underneath of it. Been real slippery, but we're making progress getting the roads clean. Have you ever seen a city that has to do snow removal like this? Uh, I haven't. I've been around here all my life, and uh, this is the worst I've seen. Hear that? It's about to all come out. 
Whoa! <laughs> and this has been going on all day. They are stopping at 7 o'clock tonight, and then they will all come back tomorrow morning, 5, 5.30 in the morning, to make all these runs again. At Harbor Park in Norfolk, Norfolk Snow Removal, I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Our team coverage of the winter weather continues now with Liz Palka live at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. And Liz, the winter storms usually keep people away from the beach, but <laughs> you found the opposite, people coming to check out the snow. Yeah, exactly right, Tom and Nicole. A lot of people spend time here at the oceanfront today, especially in this uh, Catch 3131 ocean area, taking pictures by Neptune. A lot of people walking here, but there are still people driving. And take a look at the roads here at Laskin and Atlantic, a very popular intersection. A lot of people come through here. Uh, the roads are certainly still drivable, but you have to take it slow. They still have that layer of a uh, slushy ice on top. And you know, I've, we've been checking out the area we found a lot of people that haven't stopped shoveling they haven't stopped salting and digging out from this storm wheel spinning as vehicles of all shapes and sizes make their way through the virginia beach ocean front we came to get one of our employees and help her get her vehicle unstuck many have stopped what they are doing to help out a friend or someone they don't even know i think it's goodwill teamwork trying to go to effort extra mile. When My goal is to show. finish up here and pick all this up so that people can come in and park. Hotel and resort staff at the oceanfront spent the day digging out as well. Maintenance engineers started shoveling at Ocean Sands Resort at 6 in the morning. Richard Morales continued into the evening. We don't want to have any busted pipes like we've had in the past. Um, we don't want anybody being hurt. We don't want to have anybody wreck their cars on their way down. Morales doesn't mind the change of scenery. It's all part of the job. As a matter of fact, sometimes when you do something different, it's kind of fun. And the work hasn't stopped even late into the evening. There have still been a lot of plows out on the road, VDOT trucks, and even around 9 o'clock, there was a contractor out here on the boardwalk at the oceanfront making sure that it was all clear for anyone to come visit tomorrow. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.